Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be utilizing the Django built-in authentication framework. This framework can handle the user authentication, sessions, permissions, and user groups. So we're going to be utilizing this framework, like I said, to build a simple login and logout app. So once you've built the project, the first step is to add a new app. I'm calling my new app Login. Now I need to register the new app. And now I need to configure the URLs of the main project here uh, to include the URLs of the login app. So first I import include and then I add a new entry to point to the new URL space which we're going to build in the login area here. So we include the login URLs. So in login I need to just right click and create a new file called urls.py. So in this file we add the URL import path and then we are going to be utilizing the built-in authentication framework. So we need to import that in also. And then we import any of our own views. And now we make a new um, path. So we're going to need a new path for the login. So we have path login. And here you can see that we're utilizing a built-in view um, from the authentication framework. And we call this login. So the second URL we're going to need is a, a log out. And again, we're going to be utilizing the built-in authentication framework view. So we add that here and we're going to call this log out. So finally, we're going to need a space for when someone logs in, we need to direct them somewhere. So we're going to make a dashboard. So I add an, an, an additional path here for the account. So when someone logs in, they'll be sent to the dashboard. So we're going to create a new view called dashboard. And then we've named this dashboard. <coughs> so the only other thing that I need to do is to add the app name here and reference it because we're referencing it from this namespace. So it's not called blog, it's called login. Sorry. Of course, these paths now need to be wrapped in the URL patterns. So that's all the URLs that we're going to need to set up for this system. So next, you're going to need to create a new templates folder if it doesn't exist. And inside of there, you need a, a new folder called registration. So this is the default path where the Django authentication views expect your authentication templates to be. So the login view and the logout view um, all expect your templates to be within this folder called registration. So inside of the registration folder, we're going to need a new file called login. And then the second file you're going to need is the logged underscore out dot HTML. So first on the login form, when the user enters the page, they'll be presented with two messages. So if someone has tried to log in and failed, then the message will be displayed, your username and password does not match. Else, if, for example, someone has just come to the page um, and hasn't tried entering their user details, then the message, please log in, will appear. And then we generate the actual form. So the form will be generated automatically by Django. We can see here that we set the action of URL login login. So we direct um, the form when we submit it to the view. If we go back into the URLs, the login, we see that we're using the built-in authentication login view here. On the logged out file, this is just going to be a simple heading logged out. You have now successfully been logged out and then you can log back in again. So there's a link here to the the login page. Now we focus on the dashboard. 
So this is the page or the view that the user will see once they've been authenticated to the system. So in order for us to have a page and check to whether to see someone is authenticated or not, we use the login required. So we decorate our view with the login required decorator. Um, and like I said, this will authenticate the user or the current user has to be authenticated to access this view. So we create a new view dashboard and then we return the account dashboard.html page. So now in the templates, I've added a new folder called account and then I've created a blank HTML page called dashboard. So inside the dashboard.html, I'm going to set up an if statement to request if user has been authenticated. So here I'm testing this check first if the user has been authenticated. If they had, have been authenticated, then I will then create a new um, list here, unordered list. And inside of here, we're just going to have uh, two links, one to the dashboard. Obviously, we're on the dashboard. This is just for an example. And then one to log out. So we've just created two new links. And then we can have welcome to the dashboard um, displayed on the page. OK, so now we need to define three settings. If you go back into the authentication settings.py file and navigate to the end, we add, need to add three new parameters here. One for the login redirect. So when someone logs in, they're going to be directed to slash account. That's where dashboard.html is. And we have the login URL, which is slash login, and the logout URL, which is logout. So those settings are defined in the settings.py file in the main app. OK, so next up, you need to migrate the project. So if you run a manage.py migrate, just migrate the project. I did notice I made a mistake in the URLs of the login app. Um, so it should read log out view. So just to double check, if you um, start typing in, you can see that we've got the view there. So log out view. So once you've done that, we then need to create a, a new user. So create a new super user so that we can test the login. OK, so I just migrate again. And then I'll start a, create a, a new user. OK, so once you've made a new user, uh, just go ahead and start the server and then head back in. And now we're going to just check that the user's been made. So this is just the admin area. So we're in here we have users. So we've got admin. So let's now open up a new the new app. And then here you can see that we've got all the URLs for this. So we want to try login. So we should be able to log in now with admin and admin. So there we go. So now we're sent to the dashboard uh, of the system. So we should still be able to log out. And there we go. So we logged out. So let's just test to see now we're logged out where we can access the account folder. No, we can't. So we're sent to the login page. So there we go. That's a simple example of creating a, a login system, login, logout utilizing the built-in uh, authentication framework with Django. So the Django authentication framework, although we've only used two views here, it definitely does have other facilities that we can utilize. Um, and in up and coming videos, we'll go through some of those other advanced options. So in this tutorial, we set up a very simple login and logout app.